seat of King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. This must be the house of their timid guard. They built him a rich dwelling. Each shall hear a staple on cloth. The Lord takes the best of us to sit beside him. Bishop Aylforth? He is not with God. He is locked in the flaming crypt where all heretics go. Hush, they'll hear you. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby, or perhaps... A more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Even the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylforth, was mighty indeed in defense of his God. He was a man of surpassing... He bathed in the river, so a gentle wash brings them closer to their God. He rose from the dead, a nice trick, and not easily done. Their guard brings them light, just as Balder does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? 
That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush! Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here! May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex, but it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this order? Only this and little more. This letter. Signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still? His death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. So 
always got some stones on in the rest of the outfits, man. Anyway, is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. Shut your mouth, yeah? Unless you want yours to rot off in the keep. Goodwin gone and guards sniffing around. So where the they have taken them? Papers thrown in the fire. Goodman covering his tracks, while the guards destroying evidence. Must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Best not to draw attention.
Please come! A place to keep a valuable man. Chester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife need to be carried out soon. Damned. Need to get on the other side. Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reed. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. One calls himself the Quill. Our words his weapons. There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Winchester mourns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. May he find his peace with God. Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. Sí. 
There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. Protect your servant, Winchester. You will not avert justice. As it should be. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table, where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch and a fast-dying tree. I should meet with good ones to see what he has found on the quilt. Jesus would preach forgiveness! Jesus did not live in the cesspool that is Winchester. Spread your wings. I 
Come on, Essenberg. It's yours for the taking. He's so brave, like a young King Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. Oh, saints alive! Did you see that? God sent Esso Bert an angel. Oh, is it over? Did he fall? Oh, God's buttered crumpets. I never told him I loved him. That stranger got it for him. Oi, that's cheating. Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre. Very poetic. But he is going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Ah, now we can always pay our respects. If you say so. If I'd known it was that easy. You would have done it yourself. Risked life and limb. But great men know the value of a champion. What will you do with such a treasure? It's for her. It's all for her. So she'll finally notice me. Athelflaed, what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Noah's holy cow! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are betrothed. It takes more than that. There's holding hands and grunting, and then sometimes praying. Oh, God! Oh, God! King Esselbert the First, the Flea of Winchester. All hail the Lord of the Saxons! Esselbert the Flea! Survey the area, Sudan. The cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? It may be I should take my Dane Guild now, leave you to the snakes that remain. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avon? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred. And he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank 
you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? and give back that apple. Apple? I didn't scribble nothing. Get your hands off me, cowbreath. Cowbreath? You little street rat. <laughs> Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. Cogs be it! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again! your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Elwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? Yeah. 
find them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, his little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you are not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. I should watch out for a mouse trap. I like the pretty things, but Magister Battis' stealing is wrong. I'm going to marry King Alfred, and he's going to whisk me away from all this toil. Everyone died. ...and left me alone on the streets. I didn't get nothing today! have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress!
Shield me. And mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence.
should have been set to meet him at an alehouse nearby. where justice hides when she's tired. Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arif do, exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy... I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Six is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Six, the Six is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Elden Mintas with Neon New. The Elder Quickham with the best. I shall west send trinkets. Sebolleras. So would leech in Nicorazo. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor. Poor Layoff. What about the Bishop Aylfirth? Did you dig his grave? No, no. I don't bury a lord in a pauper's husk. Poor Layoff. They showed him their gleaming blade. Someone heard your friend Layoff? Yes, yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Did you know Bishop Elbert? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aelfirth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. 
Weeping as you are, uh, sleeping. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yes. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Aelfer? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once had them quarreling into Witten. I'm sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace, then. Are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of... We both know your brother's faith was a cloak of lies. He used your guard's words for his own ends. Who are you to judge a man of faith? You, a Dane who believes in giants and wolves that eat the sun? Be gone. Get away from me, demon! Guards, protect me! Only his head and neck are burned. Now you... <laughs> Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where's your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. You. Did you find dear Layoff? It is lonely without him. I'm sorry, Wimber. I think someone killed your friend. Then I will sing a sad song, for he was the only one who ever cared for me. May angels welcome him. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! 
I'm not your enemy, yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross! Fuck off the both of you! Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed! Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. If the trinket is for Alfred, I think I'll just take it. Lord have mercy on me! Oh, enough of this! The gods will deal with you! You shouldn't have given me the jewel as a green! Ah, I'll break into your house and piss on your wife! I'm not taking this line down! I can tell you that for the price oh. of all beer! <laughs> have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold, centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ, and... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? I am. And I have to tell the king I let a Dane steal his gift to his wife. You do. And also this. Every treasure he has, I'll take. Every poet who writes him into song will sing threefold of me, because we are Vikinger. And this green and pleasant land will be ours. Bollocks. We found the treasure, and we will forget we met! Stop following me. The jewel will not be the only thing you will lose today. Holy splinters from the cross. All right. Take it. See you, old friend. Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's... Who will be our spiritual compass now that Bishop Aylford is dead? I favor Tumbiot. He is a pious man. The foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like a cocktail. Sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. 
I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came, and God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wall. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. Well, this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. It's a <laughs> about this land, my friend. If 
Aelfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets. Send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. <laughs> Must be blocked from the other side. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it.
return to Hytham and Ranmi, they will want to know what happened here. Pleasure to see you again, Eivor. I cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He... or she... is toying with you, it seems. Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. Ah. Good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. 